The generation of 3D walls depends on several options. The default height of the wall is the one we choose as the height of the floor. Once you set the height, you only need to click on the toolbar. We can find other options on the Openings walls and 2D, 3D windows. For example, you can create the top closure of the wall. This option can be useful if we don't have the slab and we want to create an impressive 3D view. An important feature for 3D rendering of the walls is to generate them on different layers. To accomplish this, you can connect the names of these layers to the layer names of the walls on the plan view. So let's change the layer of the inner side of the walls of the room on the left using the Outside option of the Wall ML command. And in the Generate Wall options, we set the Layer 3D depending on 2D Walls checkbox. We then update the 3D model and, uh, if we activate the shaded view, we can see that the layers and therefore the colour of the interior and exterior walls are different. The same technique could be used for single facades. This technique is important if we want to make a realistic rendering of the walls. When the wall doesn't follow a border at a constant height in the lower part and when the wall is located under a stair, you can link the 3D generation to a series of inclined pitches and to staircase objects. In this example, the DDW link command allows us to select the outer side of the walls and select one or more pitches to which to bind the 3D generation. We do the same thing with the walls under the stairs. This time the connection is applied to top extension. Let's then update the 3D model of the walls and activate the shadow view to see better. Finally, to not see the lines of the walls in the plan view, we choose only the view of tri-dimensional elements. Let's go back to the plan view and we show another option of the 3D wall generation. Let's suppose that we have a part of a wall at a height different from all the others that have the same height as the floor. Before assigning a different height, we cut the lines of the walls in the plan view exactly where in the 3D model the height will change. The BLA command lets you do that by simply indicating the cut in segments. After that, we open the DD wall dialog box in which you can specify various options for generating 3D walls. After we have selected the two lines, we simply specify the different height for example, 3.5 meters. The following update of the 3D walls and the shadow view lets us see the result we wanted to achieve. Once we have a set of roof slabs above the walls, we don't need any type of connection. In fact, the var w3d command automatically generates a 3D attic wall with variable height. You only need to draw the roof. Let's show the shadow view once again to appreciate the result.